Thank you so much for joining us today on the One Year Bible Journey. I'm your host, Anthony Wade, and this episode is for June 3rd. Today is day 154 on our journey, and we're going to be reading Ezra, chapters 6 and 7. Ezra, chapter 6. Then King Darius issued a decree, and a search was made in the archives where the treasures were stored in Babylon. And at Akmatha, in the palace that is in the province of Media, a scroll was found, and in it a record was written thus. In the first year of King Cyrus, King Cyrus issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be rebuilt, the place where they offered sacrifices, and let the foundations of it be firmly laid, its height sixty cubits and its width sixty cubits, with three rows of heavy stones and one row of new timber. Let the expenses be paid from the king's treasury. Also let the gold and silver articles of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took from the temple which is in Jerusalem and brought to Babylon, be restored and taken back to the temple which is in Jerusalem, each to its place, and deposit them in the house of God. Now therefore, Tadani, governor of the region beyond the river, and Shethar Bosnai and your companions, the Persians, who are beyond the river, keep yourselves far from there. Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God on its site. Moreover, I issue a decree as to what you shall do for the elders of these Jews, for the building of this house of God. Let the cost be paid at the king's expense from taxes on the region beyond the river. This is to be given immediately to these men, so that they are not hindered. And whatever they need, young bulls, rams, and lambs for the burnt offerings of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil according to the request of the priests who are in Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail that they may offer sacrifices of sweet aroma to the God of heaven and pray for the life of the king and his sons. Also, I issue a decree that whoever alters this edict, let a timber be pulled from his house and erected, and let him be hanged on it, and let his house be made a refuse heap because of this. And may the God who causes his name to dwell there destroy any king or people who put their hand to alter it, or to destroy this house of God which is in Jerusalem. I, Darius, issue a decree, let it be done diligently. Then Tadani, governor of the region beyond the river, Shethar Bosnai and their companions diligently did according to what King Darius had sent. So the elders of the Jews built, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo. And they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel, and according to the command of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Now the temple was finished on the third day of the month of Adar, which was in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. Then the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites and the rest of the descendants of the captivity celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. And they offered sacrifices at the dedication of this house of God, 100 bulls, 200 rams, 400 lambs, and as a sin offering for all Israel, 12 male goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. They assigned the priests to their divisions and the Levites to their divisions over the service of God in Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the descendants of the captivity kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites had purified themselves. All of them were ritually clean. And they slaughtered the Passover lambs for all the descendants of the captivity, for their brethren the priests, and for themselves. Then the children of Israel who had returned from the captivity ate together with all who had separated themselves from the filth of the nations of the land in order to seek the Lord God of Israel. And they kept the Feast of Unleavened Bread seven days with joy, for the Lord made them joyful and turned the heart of the king of Assyria toward them to strengthen their hands in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. Ezra chapter 7 now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Merioth, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Uzai, the son of Bukai, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, 
the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his request, according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. Some of the children of Israel, the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Nethanim came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. And Ezra came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. On the first day of the first month he began his journey from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month he came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach statutes and ordinances in Israel. This is a copy of the letter that King Artaxerxes gave Ezra the priest, the scribe, expert in the words of the commandments of the Lord, and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of heaven, perfect peace, and so forth. I issue a decree that all those of the people of Israel and the priests and Levites in my realm who volunteer to go up to Jerusalem may go with you. And whereas you are being sent by the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of your God which is in your hand, and whereas you are to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem, and whereas all the silver and gold that you may find in all the province of Babylon, along with the free will offering of the people and the priests, are to be freely offered for the house of their God in Jerusalem. Now therefore, be careful to buy with this money bulls, rams, and lambs with their grain offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them on the altar of the house of your God in Jerusalem. And whatever seems good to you and your brethren to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, do it according to the will of your God. Also, the articles that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver in full before the God of Jerusalem. And whatever more may be needed for the house of your God, which you may have occasion to provide, pay for it from the king's treasury. And I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, issue a decree to all the treasurers who are in the region beyond the river, that whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, may require of you, let it be done diligently, up to one hundred talents of silver, one hundred cores of wheat, one hundred baths of wine, one hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribed limit. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it diligently be done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also we inform you that it shall not be lawful to impose tax, tribute, or custom on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, Nethanim, or servants of this house of God. And you, Ezra, according to your God-given wisdom, set magistrates and judges who may judge all the people who are in the region beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God, and teach those who do not know them. Whoever will not observe the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily on him, whether it be death or banishment or confiscation of goods or imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and has extended mercy to me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. So I was encouraged, as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered leading men of Israel to go up with me. Thanks again for joining us on this amazing journey through the Bible. For additional resources to help you grow in your walk of faith, please visit our website at anthonywade.org. Have a blessed day and remember that Jesus is Lord and you are complete in Him.